Alright guys, so this is the next step on um, how to uh, shrink wrap whatever you soldered. Now, if you notice here, this shrink wrap doesn't quite fit this right here. It's too small. So, what I do is, I have these needle nose type pliers they got round ends on them but you can use a needle, needle nose and I just stick that in there and kind of spread it apart just like that and where I've spread it apart I'm going to cut right here and you can use scissors or a razor blade whatever you want I'm going to use a pair I'm going to use a razor blade just like that and then they will fit the wire by just spreading them apart just a little bit and then you just take and heat that up you can heat that up with a heat gun or a lighter either one will work and it shrinks the tape to it and I got a pretty good size on my pliers because I stopped I stopped it right there and then I pull that apart like that and that gives me a line to cut so now they're all the same slide it on there just like that line it up make it straight and then all I'm going to do is heat that up and once you heat it up it shrinks in on there and it looks all nice and neat just like that This keeps you from having to buy a bunch of shrink tape, a bunch of different sizes, and saves you some time, and also makes it nice and makes that shrink tape nice and tight. If you get shrink tape that's too big, and you put and you do this then it makes the shrink tape look not as tight on there so you might waste a little tiny fraction here but it's better than having floppy shrink tape on here there you go that we just done four motor wires and they are all nice and neat all nice and neat and uh, those plastic end pieces they you know we're gonna weigh more than this shrink tape so there you go guys